guys already know what time it is. Reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part 7. Do not watch before bed, do not watch at night, but we all know we're gonna watch it at night anyway. Cause we don't care. We're, ah, ah, what the heck? Cause we don't care. We're rebellious, okay? We ain't scared, man. Ah! Oh, it's probably in my Amazon package. But yeah, we're gonna check out a couple videos today and comment down below what percent your phone's at right now because mine's at like 3% and that's scary. And be sure to click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you could join the notification squad. And if you haven't already, add me on Instagram at Smith. All the cool kids are doing it. Click the link down below, got the Dang Matt Smith merch, get some. But let's go ahead and check out some of these true story scary animations. It's part seven, man. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, smiling woman oh heck no you guys remember one of the last true story scary animations video that i did where they had the smiling man his mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile oh oh is this his wife ah! the smiling woman just i don't know why it just sounds scary man but let, let's let's see what it's about here we go oh god i was 10 years old and i was home alone but that wasn't a big deal because we lived in a small city my mom and dad were at my grandma's house. I couldn't go because I was sick. <laughs> it was around 9 p.m. when I was about to go to sleep. My room was really small, and it only had one window facing my bed. Mm -hmm. That window to me was kind of scary, because yeah. when you're a little kid, your imagination can sometimes go wild. True. At that time, it wasn't my imagination, though. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, I don't know why that scared me. Don't judge, but like, I, I was not ready for that. I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. I was about to go to bed when I heard a loud scream coming from outside. Oh, gosh. It was really scary, but I tried to be quiet so I could listen to what was going on outside. Mm -mm. Nothing was happening, though. Get some blinds. It was really quiet, like nothing had happened at all. You need curtains, girl. Quieter than normal, actually. Some time had passed, and everything seemed okay, so I just laid down and tried to sleep. Oh no. One hour later, I heard that loud scream again, but this time, it seemed to be closer. I froze. I was so freaked out, I couldn't even move. 30 minutes later, oh! again, the same scream. I hate that clock. At that point, I was about to cry. I don't know why, but that scream wasn't just a scream. It was at this high pitch, oh my God. and it was just so creepy. Finally, 15 minutes later, I saw something at that window. No. It was a really skinny woman. Oh! She seemed so happy for some reason. Oh my God. She was smiling, and her smile was so big oh. and creepy. When I saw her, I started crying, and she started screaming again. Ah! I was horrified. That's so weird. She was just looking at me smiling and screaming for the whole night. The next morning, my parents came back home, and I told them everything. They called the police, and the police found out that my window, that was facing my bed, was broken. But it didn't seem like it was broken with some sort of weapon, but as if it were broken by a really high pitch. Oh! Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Oh! Oh, that was creepy, man. That gave me goosebumps. Oh, man. Guys, guys, comment down below on the old dang scary scale. On a scale of one to pee your pants, how scary was that? I, that was creepy. It was really creepy. I give it a good seven, man. The smiling woman. Oh, no. And if you guys saw the other video that I did with the smiling man, comment down below which one you think is scarier. This one's really creepy because, like, she didn't even try to investigate or anything. She stayed in bed, but those creepy woman just right there at a window. If you don't have blinds, I would have put up like a blanket over that window, something, man. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Gotta cover it up, man, like I cover up my crimes. I, I, I mean, uh, I don't do that, that's a, a Jamal. Yeah, 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 hey, 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 blame Jamal. Okay, guys, we got another, another one. one. So let's check it out, here we go. What? Wait, the girl on chat roulette? Are you kidding me? I used to do chat roulette videos all the time. Oh no. This video was like made for me. Guys, this is gonna be scary. The girl on chat roulette. First off, there's not a lot of girls on chat roulette. There's a whole lot of dinglings. But anyway, <sighs> okay, here we go. <sighs> Back around 2010 and 2011, when websites like chat roulette were popular, mm. my friends and I would sometimes mess around with people on our webcam. The website usually peaked on weekend nights, and when we were like 14, we didn't really do much on weekend nights. Mm. 
So I had my friend Peter over, and we hopped on chat roulette. It was just my mom home, so we went upstairs with the laptop where we could be as loud as we wanted. Mm-hmm. We acted like two idiotic 14-year-olds, basically being mean and rude to anyone we saw. Hey, hey! So basically on chat roulette, you'd press go, and it would match you with someone else, anyone else using their webcam. Some girl who appeared to be a couple years older than us. Uh oh, she kind of cute. Her camera quality wasn't the best, and she was sitting in a dark room with a blue light filling a decent amount of it. Okay. I'm not gonna get into the nitty. Oh, gritty, oh tiny man, this dude looks thirsty, man. Back in the chat roulette days, yes, I would see a lot of thirsty dudes looking for some thirsty girls, man. So you gotta hit them with the water. Yeah. Oh man, I'm almost out. Man, this dude looks like a lion stalking his prey. Jeez. This ain't the Lion King, boy. You better get that out of here. Ugh, might need the last bit of this water. Oh. Okay, let's go. what Peter and I said to her, but we acted like douchey, mean teenage boys to be frank. Uh-huh. Then Peter said, who is that behind you? I suddenly looked beyond the girl to see what he was talking about. What? I didn't see anyone, so I caught on that he was joking. She seemed to know he was messing with her right away, too, saying something along the lines of us being little dweebs. <laughs> Peter insisted to the girl he was being serious, and I played along with it. This dude looks like Meg from Family Guy. He's got the same hat and everything. Come on, bro. Step your style up. She didn't see anyone behind her. All I could see behind her was the rest of the room, which appeared to be a mess, and her bed tucked in the corner of the room. Hmm. Peter said there was someone hiding behind her bed. I looked at Peter, trying to hold in the laughter and make it seem like I was seeing what he was seeing too. Oh my gosh. Then I finally noticed someone in the background, by the back wall of the girl's room. He was coming <gasps> oh! out from behind the bed, seemingly trying to be inconspicuous. Oh my god. My smile disappeared as I then realized Peter wasn't joking around. Dude. I started telling her that someone was actually sneaking up behind her. Realistically, I assumed it was her brother or something messing with her, trying to scare her. So I said that. I said it looks like your brother is trying to scare you. No. She finally turned around and her reaction was not what I was expecting at all. She screamed at the top of her lungs and jumped back out from her chair onto the desk, crawling backwards while frantically kicking her feet at the person approaching her. No. We could hear the sounds of books and other items falling from her desk as she kicked and screamed. Her webcam started to shake, as all we could see of her was her legs. Oh. The person in her room got an arm's reach of her, and now we could see a black mask over his face. He grabbed the girl and kept screaming shut up, and her screams only got worse. Peter and I were silent now, simply staring, not knowing what to make of this. Call the police! The man then looked into the webcam from behind his black mask for a second, and a few seconds later, the screen went dark, and we connected to another random person. Oh. Peter and I looked at each other. We closed out from the website and sat there to talk and take that in for a second. What? We agreed it was possible it could have been- Hey, a wait a minute, I know these guys, hey! What? Where am I, wait, time out, where, where am I at? Where are my chat roulette videos? You could have used my stuff, man. <sighs> Probably cause I'm black, man. Discrimination! Time played pranks on people on chat roulette to get some crazy reactions. Wow. But it looked real. Almost too real to be a performance. What? Well, a few days later, I got a text from Peter. It was a link. A link to a news article about a teenage girl who had been murdered while home alone a few days back. Oh my gosh. We told our parents because we wanted to be able to give a description of what happened to the police. So our parents coordinated a time for us to sit down with the two investigators to explain everything we saw. Jeez. We said we were on chat roulette with a blonde girl who looked either 16 or 17, and that some average sized looking man wearing a black ski mask emerged from a back corner of her room and started to attack her on camera. Ugh. But only for so long until he turned off the computer. We gave the best description we could. Whether they believed us or not, or whether the information helped or not, was something we honestly never found out. What? That's it? Oh, hey! Jeez, and I thought running into people's dinglings on chat roulette was bad, 
But that's horrible, man. Ugh, scary. Ugh, witnessing that. Mm -mm, mm, not today. I swear, that and the smiling woman. Man, why is everybody so crazy today? Whew, I'm kind of sweating a little bit. But, you know, guys, just comment down below on a scale of one to pee your pants what you would rate that last video. But that's it for reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part 7. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you didn't watch it at night. But I know you guys, I know you watched it at night. So it's fine. No nightmares tonight, it'll be okay. Make sure to click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and add me on Instagram, at DangMattSmith, all the cool kids are doing it. Click that link in the description below and get some of the family-friendly merch, yeah, man. But yeah, please be safe out there, love you guys. Click on the screen, check out another video, and I'ma see ya next time. Peace.